That's a Company 23 sprocket holder I got. It goes in here to hold the sprocket. It's got a half inch drive. There's a sprocket already took off. Use an impact driver, 19 millimeter. And this would fit in here, but you'd have to flex the plastic way, way heck over. So, since this is an old car, a 94, I didn't want to bust this off and lose the timing mark. So, uh, I went through and ground this way down. Probably a little bit too much, but we just slide in there without having to deflect this whole piece a lot. And I don't know, you know, plastic gets kind of funky when it's old. It would be my luck I'd bust it off, so I went through and just took an angle grinder a few minutes and ground this down, so it would grab into here. And then you hold that with a wrench. So you're not gonna the sprocket will turn. I probably should have called them up, but it just kind of didn't want to. It won't just not only slide in here. This is a '94 Ranger, basically Mazda B2300. And I've worked with busting up stuff with plastic enough. I didn't want to bust the plastic, so this allowed me to get it in there. Kind of a design change. This will fit the auxiliary gear too, but it's got a lot of stuff in the way.